Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Shroud from PC Perspective. Today we're going to take a look at a custom-built gaming system from Digital Storm. This is their Ode line of systems. It's uh, built on this Corsair 600T white chassis. It's got some high-end components in there like a Core i7 4770K, a GTX 780 graphics card, SSD plus hard drive, high-end power supply, a lot of goodies inside here. Uh, we're going to do a quick walkthrough and overview of what they've done uh, inside for the build, talk about performance, talk about pricing, and compare it to building your own, which we obviously always do, and give you our final thoughts. The Digital Storm Ode is built around one of our favorite chassis. This is the Corsair Graphite 600T, the white edition. It's a good looking case. It also has a lot of functional features to it. Uh, it has this pop-up removal so you can access fans and any kind of cooling or filters you may have in there. It's actually got a fan controller. It's got USB 3. It's still got Firewire up top, so it's showing its age a little bit in that regard. If we look up front here, you can see we've got our Blu-ray drive, uh, and this is actually another pop-out fan filter with the Digital Storm and Corsair logos on there. Uh, it is easy remove side panel doors. Um, and actually we'll go ahead and walk around the inside of this first. So we do have a window on this version of it so you can kind of see what your components are inside there. If you want to take it to a LAN party, you want to show off, that kind of thing. If we turn this just up, up, how about we turn that there? And you can get a look. Inside it's very clean. We have our Corsair HX 1050 watt power supply. Uh, all the cables is a modular power supply, so there's not a lot of mess down here, which is nice. We're using an Asus Z87C motherboard, so uh, Haswell uh, LGA 1150 based. Underneath this Corsair H100i uh, 240, uh, 240 millimeter cooler, we actually have the Intel Core i7 4770K overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. There's 16 gigs of memory here. This is a DDR3 1866 memory, 2x8 gigabyte modules from Kingston. Uh, and then maybe the shining uh, bright spot here is the inclusion of a GeForce GTX 780 graphics card. That's a GK110 base GPU, so a lot of performance there. In terms of storage, we have a one terabyte Western Digital hard drive and a 120 gig Corsair Neutron SSD to keep things speedy. If we rotate this around, I'll just show you that Digital Storm does a good job with cable management. In this regard, you can see there are a lot of cables back here. You can see access to your SSD, your hard drive, uh, all of your power cables, but they did a good job bundling it all up, keeping it tight. Nothing's loose, nothing's gonna move around in shipping, uh, and uh, it's, it's gonna not prevent any kind of airflow issues either. So a very well put together system. In terms of performance, you'll probably have a good idea of what to expect here. What Digital Storm has done is they've actually taken the Core i7-4770K, which is a quad-core hyper-threaded part based on Intel's Haswell architecture, and they've actually overclocked it to 4.4 gigahertz. So you're gonna run at a, a higher base clock pretty much all the time than you would normally. So take all of our performance benchmarks from our 4770K review or anybody's review, step that up a little bit and you'll see where your performance uh, for processor based testing is going to be. On the graphics side, they included a GTX 780, which is a GK110 based graphics card currently selling for about $650. So there's only really one card that's a single GPU card that's going to be faster than this for gaming, and that's the Titan. Uh, so in terms of gaming performance, you're going to be able to power uh, 2560 by 1440 monitors, NVIDIA surround if you want, and if you want to get into 4K gaming, you can start to do that on this card as well. There's really not going to be much that will be able to beat you with the GTX 780 at the core here. And then finally, they did include an SSD. It's a smaller one, 120 gig, but that gives you the responsiveness and uh, speed of boot times, application loads, just kind of the usability aspect, which we really like to see. So overall, I think they've included all the right parts to give you a really, really kick-ass gaming system with this. When it comes to pricing, things are a little bit different. Uh, this is currently selling for, as we record this, $2,500 or so, plus or minus shipping, right? So uh, that's a little bit steep. Well, we did a, a build of our own, kind of adding up all the parts from PC Part Picker. We actually came up with a total of about $21, $21.50. So you're, play, you're paying $300 to $400 premium for the Digital Storm uh, system, which gets you 
interesting add-ons. Like it's built for you. You get a warranty. You don't have to worry about all the hassle if that's not something you're really interested in. You also get a decent warranty that includes a lifetime access to their customer support. So you can call them up or email them or go to their forums for the lifetime uh, of, the, of the system or your lifetime. They don't really specify. Uh, it has a three-year labor-free warranty, including uh, labor for replacement parts, labor for tune-ups and diagnostics. Uh, it doesn't cover shipping, though, so keep that in mind. It does have one year of direct defective part replacement as well, meaning that if any parts inside the system go bad inside the year, they replace it. If they have warranties over the first year, they'll work with the manufacturer to make sure to try to get you a free replacement in that regard as well. So that's kind of what you get for that add-on price. And for every user, that's going to be a little bit different on whether or not you think that's worth it, whether or not you think that paying that kind of premium over what is essentially a system built out of completely out of uh, off the shelf parts, if that's worth the upcharge for you. But if that is something you're interested in, if you're looking at buying a gaming rig rather than building one, Digital Storm has the Ode here that we tested as well as quite a few other custom rigs to check out. Uh, so you can find them at digitalstormonline.com. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of our articles and videos at PCPer.com. Thanks, guys.